Hello and welcome to 5 minutes about Pulsar. My name is Ming Lu. I'm on the streaming team at Datastax. Today, I'm going to show you an important security feature in Pulsar and Astra Streaming, how JSON Web Token, also known as JWT, is used for authorization and authentication in Astra Streaming. If you want to follow along and you don't already have a deployment of Pulsar, you can go to astra.datastacks.com and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the entire Pulsar team here at Datastacks. We have lots of Pulsar experts that would be happy to help answer any questions you might have or help you with any Pulsar problems you might be experiencing. We hope to hear from you soon. JSON Web Tokens, JWT, is an open standard that defines JSON objects. These objects are digitally signed and can be transmitted securely for claim verification. Pulsar supports client authentication and authorization using security tokens that are based on JWT. Pulsar brokers use JWT to validate authenticity of a client. This is called authentication. Pulsar broker can grant rights to produce or consume messages against certain topics based on the subject defined in a JWT. This is called an authorization process. A JWT is made of three parts, the header, payload, and signature. Here is a sequence diagram how JWT token is issued and used for authentication and authorization in Pulsar. Astra Streaming at Datastax is the token issuer. A token is generated upon user's request over UI or REST API. As I explained in the previous slide, it generates a token with a subject in the payload. Astra Streaming uses the private key to compute a signature. The public key, however, is shared with Pulsar brokers that need to verify the signature of the issuer, namely Astra Streaming, along with verifying the token expiry date. This is called authentication. When a token is issued, its payload has a subject key that matches the role specified under the Pulsar tenant's namespace. Astra Streaming also updates the tenant namespace role and permissions when a token is generated. Brokers has to match the token subject with the namespace role and permissions for authorization. Therefore, matching subject and role is critical in order to authorize client's permission to produce consume messages. The complexity of token management is taken care of by Astra Streaming so that as a user, you can focus on building a business application leveraging Pulsar's messaging infrastructure. Let's look at Astra Streaming's token management. Once you log into Astra, select a streaming tenant, click the token manager and the connect tab. That brings you to the token management. Token management allows you to retrieve, create and delete tokens. You can create a token by clicking the Create Token button and choose one of the following expiry window. You can view all existing tokens under the tenant. You can retrieve a token by clicking the Copying icon. Once the token is copied, let's examine three parts of a token. Once the token is copied, we can decode it. The token consists of three parts. They are separated by dots. The header and the payload are base64 URL encoded. Because the token can be sent over HTTP, it needs to be URL safe. The header has a token type and an algorithm used for key signing, and the payload has all the claims including issue date and expiry date in Unix epoch time. The issuer in this case is Datastax. The subjects specified has to match one of the namespace roles highlighted in the Pulsar namespace permission command below. It is important for authorization by the broker. The action consume and produce are specified in the brackets. Now you have learned the Pulsar token workflow in Astra Streaming. You can start to use the token in a Pulsar client or Pulsar admin CLI. One of your token is already embedded in the client.com file. Just download this file, produce and consume messages with the Pulsar client utilities. 
Don't forget to subscribe our channel, click the like button. Happy streaming!